Rich Dad Poor Dad is a personal finance and self-help book written by Robert T. Kiyosaki. The book was first published in 1997 and has since become one of the best-selling personal finance books of all time. Rich Dad Poor Dad is divided into several chapters, each of which delves into specific financial and life lessons. Here is a detailed breakdown of the content of each chapter. Chapter 1, Rich Dad, Poor Dad In the opening chapter, Kiyosaki introduces the two most influential figures in his financial life, his rich dad and his poor dad. He describes how his biological father, poor dad, had a well-paying job but struggled with finances due to his traditional mindset. In contrast, his friend's father, rich dad, who wasn't as well-educated, had a different approach to money, which emphasized financial education and the acquisition of assets. This chapter sets the stage for the book's central theme of contrasting these two perspectives on money. Chapter 2, The Rich Don't Work for Money Kiyosaki expands on the idea introduced in the first chapter by emphasizing that the rich don't work for money in the traditional sense. Instead, they focus on building assets and investments that generate passive income. The key message is that financial independence comes from making money work for you, rather than working for money. Chapter 3, Why Teach Financial Literacy Kiyosaki argues that the lack of financial education in traditional schools is a significant issue. He believes that financial literacy is essential, as it empowers individuals to make informed financial decisions. This chapter emphasizes the importance of self-education in financial matters. Chapter 4, Mind Your Own Business Kiyosaki introduces the concept of the income statement and the balance sheet and explains that understanding these financial statements is crucial for financial success. He advises readers to treat their personal finances like a business and to focus on increasing their assets and passive income streams. Chapter 5, The History of Taxes and the Power of Corporations Kiyosaki delves into the history of taxes and how they have affected the rich and the poor differently. He discusses the advantages of incorporating or forming a business entity to legally reduce tax liabilities. The key message here is that understanding and leveraging the tax code can be a significant factor in building wealth. Chapter 6, The Rich Invent Money Kiyosaki explores the concept that the rich often create their own opportunities to make money. They are innovators and creative thinkers who find solutions to financial challenges. This chapter encourages readers to develop their financial creativity and look for opportunities in unconventional places. Chapter 7, Work to Learn, Don't Work for Money The author emphasizes the importance of gaining knowledge and experience rather than simply chasing a paycheck. Kiyosaki suggests that working to learn, whether through apprenticeships, internships, or starting small businesses, can provide valuable skills and experiences that will contribute to financial success in the long run. Chapter 8, Overcoming Obstacles Kiyosaki discusses the common obstacles that people face on their journey to financial independence. He points out that fear and self-doubt often hold people back and provides advice on how to overcome these mental barriers. Chapter 9, Getting Started This chapter encourages readers to take action by addressing their fears and doubts. Kiyosaki provides practical steps for getting started on the path to financial independence, such as setting financial goals, increasing financial knowledge, and taking calculated risks. Chapter 10, Still Want More? 
Here are some to-dos. Kiyosaki concludes the book by offering specific action steps and recommendations for readers who want to further their financial education and take control of their financial future. He encourages readers to continue learning, investing, and expanding their financial IQ. Throughout the book, Kiyosaki weaves in stories and anecdotes from his life and experiences with his rich dad and poor dad to illustrate the key principles and concepts he presents. The chapters collectively provide readers with a framework for understanding and improving their financial well-being by challenging traditional notions of money and wealth. The book is written in the form of a memoir, with Kiyosaki sharing lessons he learned from his two dads. Throughout the book, he highlights key principles and concepts that he believes are critical to achieving financial success and independence. Here is a detailed summary of the key themes and lessons from Rich Dad Poor Dad. The Importance of Financial Education Kiyosaki begins by emphasizing the vital role that financial education plays in a person's financial success. He argues that traditional education does not provide people with the knowledge and skills necessary to make informed financial decisions. He believes that true financial education involves understanding concepts like assets, liabilities, income, and expenses. The rich don't work for money. Kiyosaki introduces the idea that the rich do not work for money. Instead, they make money work for them. He discusses the concept of passive income, which is money earned without actively working for it, and explains that building and acquiring assets is the key to generating passive income. The Rat Race Kiyosaki introduces the concept of the rat race, where people work hard to earn a paycheck, only to see a significant portion of their earnings go toward expenses and taxes. He argues that escaping the rat race requires a change in mindset and a focus on building assets that can generate income. Assets versus Liabilities One of the core concepts of the book is the differentiation between assets and liabilities. Kiyosaki explains that an asset is something that puts money in your pocket, while a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. He encourages readers to acquire income-generating assets and reduce liabilities. Mindset and Attitude Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of having the right mindset and attitude toward money. He argues that many people are held back by limiting beliefs about money and that a shift in thinking is necessary to achieve financial independence. This includes taking calculated risks and learning from failure. The Importance of Financial Literacy Kiyosaki advocates for ongoing financial education and literacy. He suggests that individuals should continuously seek to increase their knowledge about money, investing, and financial markets in order to make informed financial decisions. The Importance of Taking Action Throughout the book, Kiyosaki stresses that taking action is crucial. Many people may understand financial principles but never act upon them. He argues that inaction is often a barrier to financial success and encourages readers to apply the knowledge they gain. Financial Security versus Financial Freedom Kiyosaki makes a clear distinction between seeking financial security, reliance on a job and a paycheck, and achieving financial freedom, relying on passive income from assets. He believes that financial freedom provides greater control and peace of mind. The Role of Fear and Desire 
The author discusses how fear and desire can be powerful motivators or inhibitors in a person's financial journey. He encourages readers to use desire as a driving force and to overcome the fear of taking risks. The importance of building a team. Kiyosaki emphasizes the need to build a team of advisors, including accountants, lawyers, and financial experts, to assist in financial decision making. He suggests that one should leverage the expertise of others to make informed choices. In Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki presents a blueprint for achieving financial success and independence by changing one's mindset, understanding key financial principles, and taking action. The book has been both praised and criticized for its unconventional advice and provocative approach to wealth building. Readers are encouraged to think critically about the concepts presented and to seek additional financial education and advice to make informed decisions about their financial future.